Hey y'all, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where it's our goal to develop, encourage, and grow your crafting talents and confidence. This month, school is back in session. Crafting school, that is. And today, we're gonna be talking all about types of vinyl and when to use what in our Back to School Crafters Edition series. are so many different types and options of vinyl out there in the cutting world industry. But today, I wanna keep it super simple and super easy for you to remember. I'm gonna put it into three main groups of vinyl that we're gonna talk about. The first group is adhesive. This is the sticky stuff. The second group is heat transfer vinyl. This is also called iron-on. It needs heat to be able to be applied to something. And then the third type is stencil vinyl. This is the type of vinyl that you might use if you want to paint something or create a sign for your front porch. So let's take it a little bit further and let's look at each one of these groups in more detail. So the first group we talked about was adhesive vinyl. So the first question is, well, how do I tell if it's adhesive vinyl or heat transfer vinyl? Well, if it's adhesive vinyl, you can take the sheet of vinyl and you're going to just take the corner and you're gonna slowly peel the back off of that corner. Now, when you peel that back off of that corner, if the vinyl on the front is actually sticky, you know you've got adhesive vinyl and you've got the backing that's not sticky at all. And that backing, when you go to cut it, is going to go face down on your mat so that your machine can cut the vinyl itself. But let's look a little bit further at adhesive vinyl because inside this category, there's actually several different groups. And we're gonna talk about three main groups. The first group of adhesive vinyl is called 631. This is removable vinyl. This is the type of vinyl that you're gonna to wanna to use if you're putting it on a wall and maybe eventually you wanna peel that vinyl off the wall and you don't want any of the paint or the sheetrock to come with you. The second type of vinyl is permanent vinyl. This is the type of vinyl that you're gonna to wanna to use if you're putting on a car decal because it's gonna be out in the elements or if you're putting a decal onto a tumbler or a mug, someplace that you do not want that decal to ever come off of, or at least not for a very, very long time, permanent adhesive vinyl is what you're going to want to use. Okay, so we've talked about removable adhesive vinyl, permanent adhesive vinyl. The third type of adhesive vinyl, and I'm going to put a whole bunch of things into this category, is the specialty adhesive vinyl. Here's a couple of them just to take a look at. You've got your leopard one, that would be considering a pattern one. Here's like a buffalo plaid, that's a pattern. A glitter one, look at that shine. Here's one that's a little bit more crazy, kind of a holographic one. Again, each one of these, if I peel the front off, I will be able to feel that the back of that vinyl is sticky. And that's how I know it goes in the adhesive category. And I know on that adhesive vinyl, I'm gonna place this backing flat down on my mat so that my machine can cut into the vinyl itself. The next category of vinyl that I wanna talk about is heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron-on vinyl. Now, unlike adhesive vinyl, iron-on, if you pull it apart, the vinyl itself for iron-on is actually not sticky at all. That's why it's called heat transfer. It needs heat to be transferred from one place to another. In order for it to get sticky, it's gotta be heated up. The way that you can tell if you've got heat transfer or if you've got adhesive if you have heat transfer and you peel off, this is front part that's clear, is called the carrier sheet. The back part that is kind of flimsy is the vinyl itself. That vinyl, it shouldn't be sticky at all. And then you know that you've got heat transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl also looks a little bit different in the sense that typically the backing on heat transfer is not white. So you can see on this sheet, we've got one side that's really kind of shiny. That's the carrier sheet side. And then on the back side, that's the actual vinyl itself. And so unlike adhesive, where remember, one side is the vinyl, the other side is the backing that's covering up that sticky piece. On your heat transfer, you've got that carrier sheet. 
Now, when you're going to cut heat transfer vinyl, what you want to do is you want to take that carrier sheet side, remember we peeled apart the corner of it, that part that was clear, the carrier sheet itself is actually sticky. So if you look at that carrier sheet, that's actually sticky because that's what's holding the vinyl in place. That's the side that you want to put face down on your mat. You want to do that so that your machine can actually cut the vinyl itself. So just make sure that carrier sheet, that clear sheet that holds your vinyl in place is face down on your mat. Now for with heat transfer designs, you're going to want to make sure when you send your design to cut on your cutting machine, you mirror your image, which just means you want to flip it horizontally. And you want to do that because when you're cutting on here, you want it to cut actually backwards. So then when you go to apply it, you can flip it over and it's the correct way. Now, I know I mentioned there's several different types of heat transfer. So I want to talk about a few of those. The first type is Easy Weed. This is probably my favorite type of vinyl. It's vinyl that's just like this. It's usually solid colors and it's super, super easy to weed out once you've actually cut your design in your vinyl. The second type of vinyl that you're going to see with heat transfer or iron on is glitter. Glitter can be tricky because the part that you're going to cut with glitter, again, if you peel up that corner, you're gonna see you've got your carrier sheet and then you've got the vinyl. That carrier sheet goes face down on your mat and you're gonna cut on this side of the vinyl. Sometimes when you weed that, it can be kind of tricky to see those lines. And then, just like we talked about with adhesive vinyl, there's all kinds of specialty heat transfer vinyls. So you've got patterned heat transfer vinyl. This is called twinkle heat transfer vinyl. You've got decorative heat transfer vinyl. You've got stretch heat transfer vinyl. There are so many different options. One of my favorite types of heat transfer to work with is called Strip Flock Pro. This is what I like to call fuzzy vinyl because it works great on blankets and things like that because it's really soft. It actually has kind of like a fuzzy feel to it once it's applied. Now, we've talked a little bit about adhesive vinyl and how to be able to tell if it's adhesive. We've talked about heat transfer vinyl and how to tell is it heat transfer or iron on. And then the third type of vinyl that I mentioned was stencil vinyl. So I wanna show you what that's going to look like. Stencil vinyl is going to be blue. And on the back of it, it's going to say 813 masking film. This is my absolute favorite type of vinyl to use whenever I am working with painting a sign or something that I really want to get thin, crisp, clear lines on when I'm working with paint. And so when you peel this part off, you're going to see that the vinyl is a little bit see-through. It's like that on purpose so that when you're stenciling, you can kind of see where you want things to go, but it will have a backing. It feels sticky like adhesive vinyl. The difference though with stencil vinyl is it's a lot thinner. So whereas an adhesive vinyl, you can't really rip it, you have to kind of use scissors. When you're peeling this stencil off of a project, sometimes it will just tear away and it's built like that so that it doesn't crumple up into a big ball. It's made to be a little bit thinner so it can break away whenever you're creating signs. Those are the three main categories of vinyl. We've got adhesive, we've got heat transfer, and we've got stencil. And within each one of those, we've got all types of different categories. But the main categories for adhesive were permanent, removable, and then specialty. For heat transfer, you've got easy weed, glitter, and then you've got specialty things as well, like stretch and flocked and all types of different types of um, heat transfer vinyl as well. Now, keep in mind, you are not limited to just the things I mentioned in this video. There are so many different options out there, and my number one crafting philosophy is there's no wrong way to craft. So you've got to get out there and test them out. That's the easiest way to become familiar with the different types of vinyl. I'm going to give you just some really general guidelines. Typically, for heat transfer and iron-on, you're going to use that when you're putting the vinyl on something with fabric. So this is like shirts, hats, socks, bags, 
Things like that, you're going to use heat transfer. It needs to be able to have heat applied. You can even use heat transfer vinyl on wood. Adhesive vinyl you're going to use on things that can have something sticky applied to them. Think of it more like a sticker type of a material. So things like cups, your car decals, a wall decal, this can also go on wood as well. And then your stencil you're going to use on something that you're wanting to paint so that you're going to weed out the actual inside piece of the design so that you can paint and have a crisp clean line. So I hope that this was helpful today on explaining a broad overview of the different types of vinyl that you can utilize with your machine. If you have a question or there's something specific you'd like to learn, please feel free to leave a comment below or connect with us over inside our Facebook community. We would love to see what you're currently creating and working on. Until next time, I encourage you to stop just collecting and start actually creating. And remember, there's no wrong way to craft. I'll see you back in our next class.